Hello and welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. A bill to tackle the growing problem of Sharia courts operating in England and Wales has had its first debate in Parliament. The bill was introduced to the House of Lords by Christian peer Lady Cox. My Lords, this bill seeks to address two interrelated issues. The suffering of women oppressed by religiously sanctioned gender discrimination in this country and a rapidly developing alternative quasi-legal system which undermines the fundamental principle of one law for all. The bill receives support from a number of speakers, but the government has refused to give it any backing. Politicians in Northern Ireland are set to investigate the opening of the first private abortion clinic in the province. They want to question the owners of the new clinic, Mary Stopes, about the facility. It follows a letter from Northern Ireland's Attorney General, John Larkin QC, who wrote to the Assembly suggesting that the clinic be looked into. There are strict laws against abortion in Northern Ireland, which means that terminations are only allowed in exceptional circumstances. MLA Alban McGuinness said during a committee hearing that he is worried because the clinic appears to be unregulated as it operates outside the NHS. He added, I hope that Mary Stokes will respond positively to any invitation so then we can inquire from them what their position is within the law. Tracy McNeil, director of Mary Stopes, has said the organisation would operate within the law. A new pill has gone on sale which can terminate a conception five days after a woman has had unprotected sex. Critics say the pill can end a newly conceived human life and it will only encourage more reckless behaviour. Norman Wells of the Family Education Trust said, Young people in particular have been lulled into a false sense of security, taken a more casual attitude to sex, and become exposed to an increased risk of sexually transmitted infections. The pill, called Ella One, is being sold for £30 to over 18s in a number of co op pharmacies. The Congregation of St George's Tron Church in Glasgow has gained support from the Archbishop of Sydney in its stand against gay clergy. The congregation has decided to cut ties with the Church of Scotland because of the Kirk's failure to uphold the Bible's teaching. The Kirk is trying to seize control of the Trons building, despite the fact that the congregation has paid for most of its recent £3 million refurbishment. Archbishop of Sydney, Dr Peter Jensen, has applauded the congregation for its faithful stand and called on the Church of Scotland to allow them to stay in the building. Scientists in America believe they have had a breakthrough in creating a human embryo with three biological parents. The highly controversial research is aimed at avoiding certain genetic diseases being passed from mother to child. But critics say it's unethical to genetically modify embryos and it breaches international law. They say it's a step towards designer babies and could have a damaging impact on parent-child relationship. The UK regulator of embryo research is currently holding a public consultation on whether to allow the technique here. And finally, a new campaign video has been launched by the Coalition for Marriage showing why marriage should not be redefined. The short three-minute video says marriage is important for raising children and it doesn't take any rights away from anyone. The law <laughs> defines marriage because a central purpose of marriage is to produce offspring. And biologically, one boy plus one girl is the recipe for more boys and girls. It's our ancient and organic origins. Marriage, the way it currently is, doesn't take away any rights or laws from other types of couples in Britain. You can watch the full video at the Coalition for Marriage website, c4m.org.uk. Well, that's all for this week. For more information and regular updates on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.